Hey YouTube, today I'm gonna do the ride or die makeup tag, but I'm also gonna be putting the makeup on my face so that you can see all the products in action. I just think this is the best way to show off my ride or die favorites. This is also sort of very similar to the Holy Grail makeup tag or even Tati's um, The Princess tag, which I've done a couple times. I've chosen all high-end. No, no, one not high-end product, but everything else is high-end, so. But aside from that one item, everything's pretty high-end here. But that being said, these are my ride or die, if I could only have one, Desert Island products, um, and one from each category of the face. I don't think that I included every single thing that's on Jaclyn Hill's list because I didn't look at the list as I was compiling it, but I put together like my perfect face with all of my absolute favorites, and you will definitely recognize some of these products. Some of them you've probably seen in my past 10 videos because I'm very faithful to some products right now. Um, so let's get started with primer. I am selecting the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. This is currently my favorite primer because it's nice and hydrating. It smooths out my skin, but I don't like that silicone kind of slippy feeling that a lot of primers have. And this just gives me an extra layer of hydration. Next category is foundation, and just like Jaclyn Hill said in her video, this is the hardest one to do because you never know what your skin's gonna be like, you never know what your skin's gonna like, but you have to go back to that one that you know is gonna look good no matter what, and for me, that is Tantido Ultra from Lancome. I have not been using this for that long, but I've been using it long enough to know that it works on my skin pretty much any time. Any amount of coverage that I need, I can really build it up to be super full, or I can really shear it down to be very, very light, which I really appreciate in a foundation, and I have used this this on so many brides, so many models, and it is my absolute favorite for like nearly every skin type. They have so many shades for like every single skin tone. I use the shade 140, which is a neutral tone, and I'm just going to use one pump of that on a flat kabuki brush, and I'm going to work that into my skin while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, they have so many different shades, skin tones. They're all the way from the darkest of dark skin tones to the lightest. Um, I'm not even the lightest skin tone and I'm pretty pale. They have three, I think, shades that are lighter than me, which I think is important. If you want a full in-depth review of this foundation and the other Tanti Dole foundations from Lancome, I have a full video um, putting on and comparing all three formulations. They do a cream stick as well as a cushion compact. And if they're smart, they will make a concealer. If they made a Tanti Doll liquid concealer, my life would be done. So that's one pump of that foundation blended beautifully over my skin. I think this is the perfect amount of everyday coverage. I love the way this looks on my skin. For concealer, you all know that I had to choose my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the absolute best concealer on the market in my humble opinion. It comes in a buttload of colors. Now they just added like a bunch of new ones. I need to go check those out because I think there might be a better one for me now. But as of right now, I'm using the shade Vanilla and this works perfectly to conceal and highlight my under eye area. And I also use that around the face to kind of highlight the high points. While we're talking about Holy Grails and Rider Dyes, this brush dough, this is the Real Techniques um, setting brush and it is the perfect brush for blending in concealer it's also great for setting the face, setting concealer, blush, contour, highlight, getting your life. Literally the best brush. If I really needed to, I probably could have done this whole tutorial with this brush. But I don't have to. I don't think that's part of the rules. I love this concealer because it's never cakey on me. It's never dry on me. I know some people complain about this concealer being dry, but I've never had a problem with it. Um, and I'm pretty, or I have in the past been pretty dry, and I've been using this for like two years. Um, I've gone through like three or four and it just brightens and opens up the face, but Leaves it looking natural. Okay, so I might have cheated a little bit But not really because I'm gonna use two different products for two different things, but they're The same I'm gonna use an under eye setting powder and then like a face setting powder. Is that allowed? It's what's happening first. I'm gonna use the derma blend um, setting powder for under the eye this powder is fabulous for setting um concealed areas. You can use this all over the face. Um, for me, I think it works best in this area, but it is amazing. You can also bake with this if you're into it. This powder works really well for that. It is a white translucent powder. And then I'll call this like its own thing, touch-up powder. I don't know if I can make my own categories like that, but this is the Chanel Le Beige powder. This is probably like my second favorite thing in this whole lineup. I absolutely love this powder. I just like to sweep it with the brush that comes with it all over my skin and I use the shade number 10. 
this is like holy grail for life. I don't think I'll ever fall in love with a face powder like I have this one. Next, let's talk about bronzer. This guy you've probably seen in plenty of videos. This is my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in the shade 102 Tantric, and it is giant. I've had this for probably two years, this exact compact here. I literally, you can still see the original like ridging on this, and I've used this tons. So I like to take that with a duo fiber brush from Real Techniques. And this is really great for warming up the skin. It's got a nice red tone to it. Not like orangey, but just like warm enough. It just looks really natural on my skin. It looks very much like the color my skin naturally tans to when I go out in the sun. And of course I had to choose a matte bronzer for this because a matte bronzer is going to be the most versatile and work for the most situations, I guess, if you know what I mean. Um, I can use it to kind of sculpt my face a little bit and also warm the skin up. And I can take it on the neck, I can use it for the body, even use this color on the eyes occasionally. But this thing is like an investment piece, but I've had it literally forever and I use it all the time. For blush, I'm choosing my Benefit Box of Powder in Rockateur. This I have talked about literally so many times on my channel, I don't even think I need to say anything else about it. I'm just taking that on a big, big? What size is this? Like, small to medium sized blush brush. Smiling, placing that on the apple of the cheek, and blending up and back. With whatever's left on my brush, I just like to swirl it where the bronzer ends on my temples, on the center of my nose, and just on the center of my chin. I think that helps to unify the whole shebang together. And I love the little bit of highlight that this has in it. It's not super shimmery, but it just gives the skin a little bit of life. Another primer category, but this one is for eyes. This is Smashbox 24 Hour Eye Primer. This is the best stuff in the whole world. I have never found another eyeshadow primer that makes my shadows last as long as this. I trust this on every single bridal client that I do. Um, and I absolutely love this stuff. A little bit goes a long way. I don't use a lot at all. I just put a tiny amount on the lid, blend it in, and this like waterproofs your eyeshadows. This stuff takes a minute to set, so while it's hanging out, let's talk about brows. I'm just gonna let you guess what brow product am I going to talk about? It's pretty easy. Um, if you said Lancome or Seal Defini, you're correct. And of course I'm using the shade Medium Ash. This is like my perfect eyebrow pencil. It is the exact shade of my brow hairs and it's the right texture to give me, to give me fullness and apply product like in an even amount but it's not hard. I don't feel like I'm pulling my brow hairs out when I put it on, but it's not overly waxy or creamy either, so it doesn't like slide off my face. If you are a brow person, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like that's a weird thing to say, but this is just like the perfect brow pencil. I've converted so many of my friends to this one, and it comes in a good amount of shades too. There's even like a black one. Eyeshadows was actually an easy category for me to fill in. I chose the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This is 100% my most used eyeshadow palette. Even though I've only hit pan on one color, these are so pigmented in the right way. They're not so overly pigmented that you're like, oh my god, what did I just do? But they have enough pigment that you don't have to keep dipping your brush back in um, to grab extra color. Let me find a brush. Here we go. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. I'm going to grab the lightest matte shade. I love that this has an even amount of mattes versus shimmers. I think that a lot of palettes, per me personally right now, are like overly matte. I don't like too many mattes, but I appreciate that I have a matte for every shimmer here, so I can give the eyes a nice base and build my shape with the matte colors. Um, and I like that they gradiate like warm to lighter and then kind of cool dark to lighter. I think that is very convenient. Um, so it's really great for creating a lot of definition that's blurred out in the crease or the socket line. Um, today I'm just going to grab these colors here, mix them together, and just pop that through the socket, and then on the lid also. If this isn't the most boring eyeshadow look ever. This palette's also super versatile because the Cooler tone colors over here can also be used to contour the nose, even contour the cheeks if you want a very precise look. It's just a very convenient palette. You can also use these colors for brows. Now that I'm sitting here, I realize I've forgotten an eyeliner, 
but I don't feel like getting up because I don't want to refocus the camera. But if I had to choose like one eyeliner to get me through for the rest of my life, as weird as it sounds, I would probably choose the Benefit They Are Real push-up liner because I love the color selection that they have and I actually really like the applicator um, when I'm doing other people's makeup, which is when I use eyeliner more often than not. I don't really put eyeliner on myself that much. Um, so that would be my choice for liner. Give my lashes a curl. And for mascara, of course I'm choosing Lancome um, Definicils and this is waterproof in the brown shade. And this is a brand new bottle. A, I like this mascara because it comes in brown. I'm not really into black mascara for every day. B, this stuff holds a curl like nobody's business. C, it never clumps my lashes. And D, it just makes my lashes look bomb. But like in a natural bomb way. Does that make sense? But don't get me wrong, you could build this up if you were like... trying it. Now I chose waterproof because this is like... ride or die, you only get one, I can't choose to have both. So, I chose waterproof just because it holds the curl a little bit easier and it gets me through like all life situations. Um, but I do wear the regular one as well. Now the one drugstore product is a lip liner. This is the NYX Slim Lip Liners, the original like wooden ones. These are so bomb. I absolutely love these. This is the shade Natural. Yes, Natural 810. And it is like literally my lip color bottled. I have so many of these. I think I have almost every color. At least every neutral and like a few of the brighter ones. And then my last choice is a lipstick slash lip balm slash lip gloss. This is um, YSL Volupt Sheer Candy in Dewy Papaya. And this is slightly tinted, really glossy, really moisturizing. A no-brainer, like easy choice. Throw it on, goes with everything, wears I mean, it doesn't wear particularly well. It is a lip balm. It's going to absorb. The color is going to go away. But I absolutely love it. So that's what it is. These are my ride or die favorites. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the products that I use today, please leave that in the comment section below. And I would love to know your ride or die products. Specifically, what do I want to know? Specifically, I want to know your ride or die eyeshadows. Let me know what your ride or die eyeshadows are in the description. Nope, in the comments box below. In the description box, I've got a link to every product that I talked about today. So if you're interested in anything that's on my face, um, go look in there. There's also links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm at John John Talks. There's an Instagram. Nope. What am I talking about? There's a link to my Facebook down there as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click on my face now to be subscribed. I post a new video every single Monday and Thursday at about 9:30 in the morning Eastern. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. This is a brow growth serum. I kind of had little faith in this product when I first started using it.